Okay, fractions. When you have to subtract fractions, it's like going shopping. Let's suppose you have three euros plus one dollar, and you want to buy something. How much money do you have? You don't know, because you cannot add three dollars and one euro, because they are not the same currency. So remember, when you add and subtract fractions, you need to have the same currency, the same common denominator. Same common denominator between 5 and 2 is 10. 5 times 2 is 10. You have to look for a number that can be divided by both of them, evenly. Now, both of them are going to change. I want you to imagine that these three fits it's like a little picture that you have. It's 3 by 5. You want to enlarge it until this becomes 10. Now, what if I keep it this way? How are you going to look? That's right. You want all the picture to enlarge. That will kill the symmetry. Then, if this 5 enlarge to 10, how many times did you enlarge it? Twice. So you have to enlarge this one twice as well. That will become six. Six tenths. Same thing with the second picture, one half. If you want to enlarge to ten, how many times do you have to enlarge two to become ten? Five times. So one has to be enlarged five times as well, and it will become what? it will become a 5. This way you keep the proportion of the picture. Now let's go back again and shop. I have now 6 pesos and 5 pesos. Can I add them? Yes, I do. Then I keep my pesos here, my same currency, 6 plus 5, 11. If the answer has to stay in a proper form, that's the answer. But what if they want a mixed number? I want to imagine that you have 10 kids and you have 11 candies and you want to distribute them evenly. So each child will get one candy, one candy, and the rest of them will be for you. How many you have left? One. That's the remainder of the division. So 11 candies for 10 kids will give each one of them one, one for you, and the 10 never changes. When you multiply fractions, you do not need the same common denominator. All you have to do is straight multiply. But as you see, 12 times 49, it's a big number. 7 times 16, so it's okay. But the shortest route is simplification. Look around and see if those numbers have something in common. You can never simplify this way or this way. It's always one number from the top with one number from the bottom. If you look to 49 and 7, both of them can be divided by 7. 7 divided by 7 is 1, and 49 by 7 is 7. 12 and 16, they have a common factor as well. 2 is one of them, but it's not the best. What's about 4? Yes, 12 divided by 4 is 3, 16 divided by 4 is 4. Now, what is left? I have a 3 divided by 1 times 7 divided by 4. All of them are prime. 1, 3, 7, 4, prime numbers. 4 is not prime, but has nothing to, nothing in common with anything else. So you straight multiply. 3 times 7 is 21. 1 times 4 is 4. How do you transform 21 fourths into a mixed number? Do you remember 21 candies for four kids? Each one of them gets, gets five candies, one for you. Every time you have a fraction, you have to try to reduce it. So let's see if 91 divided by 119 is a prime number or not. Can be divided by two? No, because you should have both of them even. None of them is even. Let's try to see if I can divide them by three. As the sum of the digits of those numbers have to be a multiple of 3. 
So if I add 9 plus 1, that will be a 10. Can I be divided by 3? Neither by 9. 1 plus 1 plus 9 is 11. Cannot be divided by 3 either. But anyway, if one of them cannot be divided, so it's impossible to reduce. Good. Can they be divided by 5? No, because the end of the number should be 0 or 5. Can they be divided by 10? No, because the end of the number should be 0. So, it is prime or not? If we don't know the next rule, we will suppose that they are prime. But there is one more rule. How do I know if a number is divided evenly by 7? The rule says, take the last digit. Double it and subtract it. from the rest of the number. So, take the last digit, double it, and subtract it from the rest of the number. 91 has a last digit 1. I double it, becomes 2. If I took it away, it's not here anymore. 9 minus 2, is 7. Bingo. This one checks. Next number is 119. This is my last digit, 9. 9 times 2 is 18. 11 minus 18 will be negative 7. Can this be divided by 7? Yes. So, both of my numbers, 91 and 119, can be divided by 7. No, because it's 3. Sorry. And let's try to divide them. That's 1. That's 13. And 119 divided by 7. 49. That's 17. Okay. The number Sounds one, okay. good.